leave what doesn't resonate with you take what does resonate today with you. i'm gonna be talking about reasons we should not spin the block reason number one because i'm gonna make this fast um i'm gonna make this fast because you know you might not have a lot of time i don't really got a lot of time so let's just get to the point first reason is if you felt the need to leave a situation or if they felt the need to leave the situation it was a reason okay it was a reason if you're a female and your intuition something in your intuition was confirmed and you left because you knew it didn't align with what you know you deserved or what god has for you let's replay it in our mind like all right this is why i left like what am i going back for nine times out of ten the person ain't changed okay a reason so we're dealing with you know a lot of times as females when you're living this single life we get you know a little lonely um like right now it's fall it's cuffing season um you know we want to cuddle we want loving we want all the things that come with the being with somebody right because we we're getting impatient you know we don't want to wait we just want somebody to cuddle. we want that instant gratification of comfort right now from the arms of a man but what we're not recognizing is in those situations are we still have a heart to protect and as much as we think that we can handle these situations we are built differently than these men okay men can just go into something and i'm not saying like all men will just like go into a situation without you know being vulnerable and open to catching feelings i'm talking about the ones that are emotionally unavailable and yet we still come in with the idea that we can control the fact that we are a woman, we have emotions, we actually release bonding hormones when we spend time with these men, you know? So we gotta protect our heart. And one thing about it, I've gone a lot through a lot in life. You've probably gone through a lot of BS that could have been, um, could have been avoided if we would have just done the right thing by sticking to our standards and um, not putting ourselves in a situation to get hurt. So the second reason is because you have to protect your heart. And the Bible says, uh, guard your heart for everything that you do flows from it, right? So when our heart is broken, it is literally like a broken leg, like you're disabled. You know, you, you're not operating at your optimal level because you're hurt inside, you know, and all this can come from spinning the block and going back into a situation that already hurt you before and it's nine times out of ten gonna hurt you again so third reason is if you are doing all the right things while you are single you're constantly growing and elevating why are you out here looking at all these youtube videos on oh how to level up how to be the it girl how to do this this and that when you keep going backwards like, let's not go backwards. We're leveling up. So what does that mean? That means that that person is not even in alignment with us anymore because we are attracting better. So that's the third reason. Not in alignment with you anymore. Keep yourself in alignment. Keep leveling up so that you can attract better, okay? Fourth reason. Reason number four to not spin the block is because we're failing the test. Okay, you're going to keep getting the same test until you pass it. Okay, if you're going to keep settling for less, then that's what you're going to get served to you on a platter is less. We don't want that. We don't want the shrimp cocktail. We want the lobster dinner. Okay, and the dessert after that chocolate fudge brownie with the vanilla ice cream and the caramel syrup and all that afterwards. And we want it five star, not red lobster. So... What are we doing? Fifth and final reason not to spin the block is because baby, you're a queen. Baby, you're a king. Know your worth. Know your worth and stop settling. That's it, y'all. Based off of my experience, based off of my growth, based off of what I have learned, based off of what the Holy Spirit and what God has been teaching me and showing me, we ain't perfect. We're gonna make mistakes and things. So just look at this as encouragement to keep moving forward. Give yourself a pat on your back that you are moving forward, that you are sticking to your standards, that you are being disciplined. And at the end of the day, all of this ties into our mental health. Self-love is everything tied together and we can't forget mental health too. So peace out. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like it, give a thumbs up. I want it to be a quick little spill 
and so that you can look at this and go about your day and ignore that text. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and please come back and visit my channel.